Okay, looking at uh, Wikispaces, one of many free wikis that are available on the internet, wikispaces.com. Uh, I use Wikispaces for my online portfolio or CV or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a free web-based wiki and it's very easy to use, feature-rich, and the support, in other words, the two guys developing it are uh, very quick to respond to my emails and um, even keep keep involved in some of my e-groups, so I see them popping up every now and then and answering questions about wikis. So in my CV, I have an option here for navigation. You can set navigation through it, but I just haven't used that. But generally, I just use it for... Uh, you can set the background color and a photo. I could put a photograph of myself up there, but not this time. And I just give the quick bio. Uh, this feedback is actually uh, links feeding in, so I haven't actually typed this in the wiki. It's just feeding in. And then I use Wikispaces. I co-author books and papers, educational media listed here, and movies, and you know just a classic, typical CV. Now. <coughs> with any wiki, um, well an open wiki anyway, anyone can edit a page. So we might have heard of Wikipedia, for example, anyone can edit that encyclopedic base of knowledge. Uh, so when you come to my CV wiki, you could click edit. And I think it might be running a little slow due to the screen recorder going on here, but there we go. And it goes into a basic WYSIWYG editor mode, and that's what you see is what you get. That's what WYSIWYG stands for. So it looks fairly much the same, and it has these tools, bold, italic, underlined. You can format the um, titles and the, and uh, bullet numbering and underli uh, line breaks. That's that line break there. Making a link and un unlinking, adding a picture, using a table, and then um, special characters for mathematical equations and things like that. Okay, so that you can edit that just like that. That remember that feedback feeding in. That's the tag I used there to set that up inside the wiki, and that will pick up any information that's been saved and updated to that URL there. And it's being told to format itself as a list with a number of five items displaying. Uh, that's a pretty handy thing to have when you've got people uh, saving links uh, and you want them to come into a central place. Uh, and then the rest is as you saw it. Now sometimes um, Wizi, uh, Wiki, Wikispaces is one of the few wikis that have a what you see is what you get editing feature and uh, sometimes it, it it's, not, it's a little bit hard to work and it's other words you can't get bold to switch off or you can't get a link to switch off and so you also have down the bottom of there switch to text editor and that's then this is where it starts to look more like a normal wiki in that it uses wiki code to make links and bold and italic and all that sort of thing so when it comes up you'll quickly see the difference okay so the double equal sign and the double asterisk about Lee Blackall closing double asterisk closing equal sign that makes that a bold title the double asterisk is bold and the equal signs makes it a title grade of some type uh, links are the double square brackets with the URL vertical line and then the linked word uh, what else? This four um, dashes make a line break, and then there's that equal sign with the bold again, and I think that's pretty much all I use. Oh, here's the numbered format. So the hash space, hash space creates a numbered list, and then a bullet list is just asterisk space, asterisk space. And that's pretty much all there is to wiki text in wiki spaces, and then help has quite a great deal of information about how to use wiki spaces um, to, to quite a large degree. Okay, so that's um, editing in, in uh, the text editor mode. So we'll just uh, cancel this edit and look at some of the other things common to a wiki that make uh, wikis pretty useful. All wiki pages, each individual page, has a discussion forum behind it. So when you click discussion, there has a threaded discussion. Um, oh no, I hadn't seen this one. I must have totally missed that, but there's a, somebody has posted in there and it's keeps a record etc so it's just common to every uh, forum discussion there is there. Uh, we'll go back to the um, home page and then it has version control so we look at the history of the edits and being my CV of course it's going to have mostly my edits but it's an open CV it's open to anyone editing it and uh, those guests are in fact me that I just forgot to log in um, but if I did 
if somebody did come in and edit my CV, I get upset it to send me a notification every time there's an edit made so I'd quickly know about it and that's never happened yet. Um, back to the home and there's a little few more features there. If you just click details and it comes upload file, notify me, that's how you get to set the notification and then add a categorization tag and the little screen grabs um, show you um, the version. So if I click this screen grab of the changes recently, what it does is to show me what the changes are. Deleted text is highlighted red and inserted text is yellow. So there's some deleted and changed stuff there. I've changed the feed tag coming in. Because this is a free wiki, it does use Google Ads down the right. Uh, however, if for educational purposes the creators of Wikispaces um, are willing to switch off ads for any educational sites, and um, or if I paid five dollars a month, which is pretty good really, um, you could have these switched off and get a little bit, little bit more control of the look and feel. Personally, I don't mind Google Ads. I don't like advertising generally, but Google Ads. Um, I don't mind so much because gen sometimes they can be useful and generally speaking they are relevant to the content although this is probably not a good example and they only appear for the first bit when you scroll past them they're gone so what you could do in fact is place a whopping bid banner image just there and that would pe pu have people scroll down and then the ads are gone so that's a quick look at Wikispaces. Uh, I've got lots of other stuff I use um, Wikispaces for. I it's obviously good for collaboratively collaborative writing. I've used it for conference websites where I get participants to tag photographs and articles they create to a certain tag word and then those contents uh, feed in using that um, tag, that, that uh, RSS feed coming into the wiki. Uh, so anyway, uh, that should do it. I think it's probably a long enough rave on about wiki spaces.